Hey, uh, hey, uh, this is Cats Review Movies. I'm your host, Kittendrick Lamar, and today we're doing Black Panther. I'm just gonna lick my, what the f was that? Never mind. Never mind, it was nothing. We're doing Black Panther. Is it weird that that's a black chair and I'm a black cat now? Mm. Just roll the graphic. Roll the graphic. It's too late. Just roll the graphic. Roll it. Can we roll the graphic, please? So, yes, this movie came out like a year ago, but in light of Sunday evening's thievery in the category of Best Picture and for other obvious reasons, we're doing it now. Our reviews, however, will be based on three and only three unique criteria. Criterion 1. Did this movie have cats in it? Criterion 2. If yes, did the narrative present a positive, socially responsible view of cats, or did it perpetuate negative stigmas and stereotypes that have been used to oppress feline kind low these many years? And Criterion 3, was this movie good? Let's get to it, Criterion 1. Cats? <laughs> yeah, bro, there's a whole, what was that? Did anybody see that? Did anybody see that? Did anybody see that? Did anybody see that? No? All right, whatever. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of cats in this movie. The titular superhero is literally a giant metallic panther, and there's a dream sequence with a tree that's just chock full of black panthers, so f yeah, bunch of cats. All right, Criterion 2. Cool about cats or no? Uh, yeah, cool as f Listen, this movie gets it 100% right. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but every simile or metaphor the humans ever invented about toughness involves dogs somehow. He's fighting like a dog, he's working like a dog. What is that? Is that a bird? I think there's a bird on that window. Oh, I want to kill that bird so f***ing bad. <clears throat> Where was it? Right, 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 right. Humans, like idiots, equate femininity with weakness. Cats appear to have feminine qualities and dogs appear to have masculine ones, so therefore dogs must be stronger, but not in Wakanda. In Wakanda, the cats are the most badass warriors. They are the smartest ones in the room, and they remain the most poised and the most fearless. Okay, at last, Criterion 3, was this movie good? <laughs> yeah, this movie was and awesome. My guest this episode is a friend of the show, and he is here to discuss the ways in which this film will impact feline culture at large. Dr. Catnaps Porzingis, Professor Emeritus at the Sanford Mausner School for the Arts, and PhD in Advanced Couch Shredding. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you, Kittendrick, for having me on your show. Okay, now I'm going to talk about what it's like to be Black Kit in this world. Um, if all the kids we are seen as somehow inferior, eh, we are said to be bad luck and omens of doom and other such things. Even in the shelters, we are looked upon as least desirable for adaption to good. What is that? Kindred, do you see this? What is this? Kindred, do you? Never mind, it's nothing. Okay, you follow me to window now. Yeah, my you much better with the tree scent, the fresh air, and the whatnot. Okay. The be black kid, maligned such as we are, and to go to the movies and to see hero who appears same as me, who struggle with things maybe I do struggle with, this is wonderful gift. Now, as maybe you can see, I am not Pantera Pertis, nor am I Pantera Onka. I am a black kid, but in the painter, I can see my roots. And to watch the panther wield the power, the technology, and the wisdom that they wield in this movie, this too is wonderful gift. This is wonderful gift everybody deserves. Except for Pomeranian. Pomeranian is abomination of nature. And that's the show. Be sure to find us on social media. Our Instagram handle is... What the f is that? Can we see that? Can we see that? Can we see that?